In our last video, we visited Chimney Rock and Scotts Bluff along the Old Oregon Trail. A little further west is the town of Guernsey, Wyoming, and the Guernsey Ruts. Located about three miles south of town are marks left in the earth by wheels of wagons bringing immigrants who were drawn west by cheap land, patriotism, or the promise of a better life. It's a short walk up a paved pathway to reach the ruts. One can walk the ruts for quite a distance. I was amazed to see how narrow the ruts are and to think that people travel 2,000 miles in small wooden wagons, smaller than many modern automobiles, on a trip that took many months to reach a land they had never seen before. At this site, the Oregon Trail was forced away from the North Platte River by a steep ridge of sandstone rock. One had to go up and over the ridge in order to continue heading west. Here the trail crossed a ridge of soft sandstone where the tracks of thousands of wagons is worn to a depth of five feet, creating some of the most spectacular ruts remaining along the entire length of the Oregon Trail. The geography of the area dictated that practically every wagon that went west crossed the ridge in exactly the same place with impressive results. Five minutes east of the ruts is Register Cliff. About a day's journey west of Fort Laramie, Immigrants spent the night at Register Cliff, which rises 100 feet above the North Platte River Valley. The soft, chalky limestone rock made it easy for immigrants to inscribe their names in the cliff before continuing on their journey. The earliest signatures date to the late 1820s when trappers and fur traders passed through the area. Most of the names visible today were carved during the 1840s and 1850s when the Oregon Trail was at its height. Today, visitors can walk along the cliff base to view the signatures up close. The cliff is badly defaced with modern graffiti, but the historical inscriptions at the east end, the left end as you face the cliff, are protected by a tall wire fence the historic site also contains a pioneer cemetery with several graves. Another stop on their western journey would have been Ayers Natural Bridge. You can find out about Ayers Natural Bridge on our video, A Bridge to a Land of Enchantment. Here are a few still shots of our visit. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up and comments are always appreciated, and please subscribe. Thank you.